Welcome, Natalie here, and today I wanted to talk about how to relax. I've got a dozen different ways for you to start to create more relaxation in your life. We get so caught up, we're always on the go, we've got our cell phones on us, computers and TVs are constantly around, friends, family, work, Whew. and sometimes, I don't know about you, but for me, when it's time to just relax and settle down and be quiet, it can be challenging. <laughs> There's just so much stimulation in life all the time that to actually take some time to breathe and let go of all the chaos can be a bit of a challenge. So in this video, I wanted to create this for you so that you can learn some great ways to start to calm and relax your mind and your body. So in this video, you're gonna learn a dozen different ways to relax your mind, to relax your body, start breathing more deeply, and create some true relaxation in your life. 12 techniques for reducing stress. We're gonna start with the mind. Number one, get away from the computer, phone, TV, and social media. All of that stimulation Oh, it's not allowing you to quiet your mind. It's constant chatter. It's constant visual and auditory stimulation. Not only that, but there's frequencies coming off of your, all of your electronics that may be getting in the way from allowing you to truly quiet your mind. So take a little time away from all of the electronics and allow yourself to get quiet. Number two, Relaxing music. Put on something soothing, whether it's nature music, classical music, something that will put your, your mind and your body in a better mood. We want something that's gonna create a new rhythm for you. If your mind chatter is racing all the time at a very high speed, relaxing music will actually allow you to calm that chatter. It'll give your mind something else to focus on and allow you to settle down. Number three, journal. Sometimes it's nice to just vent in a journal. Write down whatever's going on in your mind and just dump it out there. You may end up finding that this allows you to think more clearly. It may allow you to open up the possibilities for some problem solving if there are some issues that are going on in your mind. Um, or in your life situation. So journaling is a great way to just get it out of your head and onto paper so you don't have to think about it anymore. Number four, share, socialize, laugh, and cuddle. Whether it's with friends, family, or maybe even people you just met, socializing and interacting with others can help you to calm your mind and get it off of all the drama that you've been running it allows you to interact, it'll allow you to vent, and get your mind off of whatever issues have been stressing you out. Let go of all the past or the worry of the future and just be in the moment with others. Number five, get in control and have an action plan. Sometimes there are things going on in our life that are overwhelming, we feel like things are out of control, and we don't even know where to begin. So you may need to take a little bit of time to create an action plan. What are you gonna get done? How are you gonna solve some of the issues or stresses that are in your life right now? And once you start to do that, and you actually have a plan of action, your mind will calm down. You won't be running all these thoughts of what am I gonna do, or how is this gonna turn out? you'll actually have something to follow. Number six, meditation. Whether it's a guided meditation or you're practicing quieting your mind and listening to the space between your thoughts, meditation is a great way to let go of the mind chatter and really relax those repetitive thoughts to help reduce stress in your life. Six ways to reduce stress in your body. Number one, go for a walk. Even if it's just a 10 minute walk around the neighborhood, getting your body moving will actually help everything move in your body. It'll increase the circulation and will actually create a stress relieving response. 
So sometimes we just need to get the energy out if we're stuck in the same place all the time. Number two, exercise. Whether it's cardio or strength training, whatever kind of exercise you prefer, get your body moving. Energy can get stagnant within our body, within our mind, and within the space around us. So by moving your body and actually getting out and getting things flowing, that can make a really big difference on your stress level. Number three, yoga. Stretching lowers your cortisol levels. So by opening up your body, you're releasing some of that tension that may be hidden in your joints. Maybe you have a lot of tension in your hips and your shoulders. You may not know it until you start getting into some of the yoga poses and start stretching. And then you realize all the stress you've been holding on to for quite a while. So stretching is extremely important for releasing tension and stress from the body. Number four, progressive relaxation. Allow yourself to completely relax your body. Whether you find a comfortable chair or laying on a bed, you can visualize and guide yourself through a progressive relaxation. Maybe you tense up your body and then you release. And you can do this with each section of your body as well. You can start at your toes or start at the top of your head. Relax all the muscles in your head, surrounding your eyes, your jaw, your cheekbones. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Relaxing your arms all the way down to the fingertips and work your way through your body, through your torso, your hips, your legs, all the way down to your toes. Progressive relaxation allows you to let go of that tension you've been holding on to in your body as well in a very soothing way. Number five, get out in nature. Whether you're close to a beach, the mountains, or even a park nearby, being in nature has an amazing ability to relax the body. There's an energetic frequency that comes from the earth. So actually get some grounding, put your hands and your feet in the dirt, the sand, the grass, whatever it may be, and allow yourself to be in nature. It can be very healing, very soothing, and very relaxing for the body. And number six, breathe deeply. Breathing deeply comes from the diaphragm. So in life, sometimes we have a tendency to hold in our gut and breathe shallow through our chest, but we really want our deep inhale where the belly expands. And as we exhale, release all that stale air. Deep breathing has a very therapeutic ability for the body. It allows more oxygen to flow into all the muscles, joints, and cells of your body and truly cleanses you from the inside out if you practice deep breathing. I hope this video gave you some wonderful ways to start implementing some relaxation into your life. It's important that we get some relaxed time throughout the week, whether it's little snippets here and there, or you take one day off a week where you really start to embody and practice relaxing. <sighs> Breathe more deeply and enjoy some of these tactics. Try one or two at a time, whatever works best for you, implement them as much as you can. So I hope this was helpful. Please like this video and comment, I would, and comment on this video. I would love to hear from you about what you've been working on to help create more relaxation in your life. Please share this with friends and family that you think would enjoy this video and get something out of it. We all need a little more relaxation in our life. I think we can agree on that. I've got some videos in the description below that you might also enjoy. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get updates on more videos like this one to help empower you, lift you up, and create the life of your dreams. Life is about the quality of life we live, and this is definitely gonna help the quality of your life. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.